Okay, our third one. This is juicy. Okay, let's see. Pick a random name. <gasps> oh my gosh! Megan and Hazel. Ooh. So this is such a stinging slow burn. Oh my gosh. But, um, well, if you've seen popularity, you know what the deal with these two is. So they are like best friends. They are like iconic besties. Sorry if you can hear my dog. Like they are best friends. They are tight. They love each other. They support each other. But for majority of the show, Hazel has had a massive crush on Megan. Like ever since they were together. Like ever since they met. I mean, like it's been like her whole life. She's been in love with Megan. But she can't have Megan because she's straight. And Hazel is a lesbian, and she tries to hide that, but eventually she does get figured out. And then she ends up with Chloe. But, like, she obsessed over Megan for a very long time. And, like, she loved her so much, but they could never get together. And, like, even when they confessed, like, Hazel kind of confessed and Megan found out, they still remained, like, besties. Like, nothing was awkward, which was strange. But I feel like if they were together, they'd be very iconic girlfriends. But obviously it can't happen because of Megan. And then... Hazel later got over it and found Chloe, which is really nice. But, like, this just, it hurts. But, like, as friendship, they're, like, number one. Like, I love them so much. Despite this poor baby, she, she still remains loyal to her best friend, which just, you gotta give it to them. Okay, let's do another one. Pick random names. Ooh. So this is about the most random one yet. Macy and Leah. So this is just kind of strange because we know that Macy is very mean, but also very dumb. And then we know that, you know, Leah is on Tiffany's side because they used to be best friends. But Leah wasn't even, like, involved with what happened in most of the series. She just one day kind of showed up and then she was along with Tiffany and the rest of the game. So, yes, she got bullied. But, like, I just feel like they just, I don't know. I just feel like they just wouldn't get along. Macy's too stupid to understand anything. And I think they're both straight. And, like, Leah's talking to Leaf, as we know. But, like... Anyway, Leah, it's not really shown in the series, but she's someone that is, like, very smart academically. That is kind of her character. Like, she's very smart. She struggles a little socially, but that's because she's new. But, like, she's starting to understand popularity more. But, like, I just feel like she couldn't put up with someone, like, as dumb and crazy as Maisie. Like, I feel like they would just butt heads on everything. Okay, another one. Loading, loading. It's taking forever. Ooh, so we have Jane and Sam. So this is quite, this would probably be quite the drama if it happened, you know, considering Jane is with Max and Sam is with Janet and Janet and Jane are best friends. So it would definitely be a little awkward, but seriously, I think Jane and Sam are just like such good people. I feel like just in their character, they're just like nice general characters so i feel like they could really be good like with anyone and i could see like if they were together they'd probably be okay if like you know the rest of them didn't exist but obviously at this point they couldn't be together but i just feel like they would work with anything i don't see anything in their characters that really would be like wow they'd be so good together but like i feel like they're both just chill so like they could work obviously but it would cause quite a bit of drama between janet and some other characters so i don't know you decide. Okay, next round. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, this one. Okay, Miss Taylor Garcia and Shelby. Is it bad that I kind of love it? Like, <laughs> Shelby is a bad person, don't get me wrong, but I feel like, well, I mean, it's clear that she's been, like, greatly influenced by the rest of the popular squad and, like, there's that one episode, Half Right Shelby, where it's like she wants to do the right thing, but she can't because she doesn't know any better. But I feel that Taylor, like, could really fix her because when Taylor was, like, in the hospital, like, sacrificing herself to save Jenny, Shelby was the only one who actually cared. Like, they still hate each other after everything that happened, and, you know, since Shelby ran away. But I feel like if they worked it out, Taylor could probably work on fixing Shelby. They both obviously have a lot of work to do. I just feel like 
Taylor would just be so cute and protective to someone like Shelby. A little dumb, a little vulnerable, but I think at this point, after everything they've gone through, it just, it wouldn't work, and they just would not go well together. And of course, Taylor and Oliver are, you know, forever iconic, so we can't get between them. But I feel like if there were any popular girls that Taylor could fix, it would be Shelby. And then they look adorable together, but yeah. Okay, our final round for today. I might do this again another time, but let's hope we get something that we can really talk about. Ooh, Daphne and Sam. So, um, Daphne's crazy, as we know, so I really don't know how she could put up with someone like Sam. I mean, Sam is with Shelby, and that was bad, so I feel like if he was with Daphne, it, things would get crazy. But, like, I feel like Daphne would just cause trouble with any boy, regardless of who it is, because she's obviously crazy, obviously has problems. So I just don't feel like anything would really good would really come with these two. But if they were together before and they were just kind of a typical couple, like how Tyler and Daphne were, I feel like they could work. But after everything now, it's like, no. So that was certainly interesting. I'll definitely have to do this again sometime because we didn't even get like Tiffany or, you know, Janet or Jenny or any of the other main characters. And I really think we could have some in like interesting combinations, but I'll have to see. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment if you can, and we'll see you later. Bye!